Changing the equation using Intel Mathematics Professional Learning for K-8 Teachers is a research grant program offered by the Hillsdale Lenaway Monroe Math and Science Center in partnership with the Lenaway Monroe and Hillsdale Intermediate School Districts. Teacher participants will attend 80 hours of the nationally acclaimed Intel Math Training and 32 hours of math learning community sessions using technology tools to support teaching and learning. The time frame for this professional learning opportunity will be May 2013 to July 2014. We'd like to have you meet the lead facilitators for the SEAM program. Hi, I'm Stephanie Casey, an assistant professor of mathematics education at Eastern Michigan University. And I'm Tim Husband, professor of mathematics at Siena Heights University. We're here to talk to you about a major component of the SEAM project, the Intel Mathematics Professional Development Project. This project is specifically designed to close the gap between the mathematics training elementary school teachers have received in the past and the demands of the contemporary mathematics classroom in today's Common Core State Standards era. It consists of 288,000 seconds of instruction. I see you thinking, hmm, how many hours is that anyway? Well, if you consider the number of seconds in a minute, the minutes in an hour, then you'll be dividing by 3,600. And that is absolutely 80 hours, a couple of weeks. The goal is to deepen your understanding of core K-8 mathematics concepts, including integer arithmetic, the decimal system, place value, rational number arithmetic, rates, linear equations, and of course, functions. So you can see that although you can earn college credit for this mathematics, we will be studying the mathematics of elementary and middle school. Because mathematics is a problem-solving activity, not a spectator sport, the majority of your class time is going to be spent solving mathematical problems in small cooperative groups. You'll have many tools at your fingertips to help you in solving the problems, including manipulatives, grid paper, color pencils, and of course each other. You'll also be communicating your solutions in multiple ways, like talking to your colleagues or writing down your solution methods. All of this is to help you become more confident and effective at answering students' questions about why mathematical procedures work and why it's important to learn certain math concepts. The importance of multiple methods of solution is a thread that we will emphasize throughout the course. So once you've solved the problem one way, we'll often ask you to solve it again using another solution method. I'm sure you've all had the occasion when a student has presented a solution strategy to a problem that is different from the one that you taught and think, uh-oh, is the answer correct, but this process is weird to me. I wonder if it's correct. Well, this helps you become familiar with the many ways students think about problems and makes you a more effective teacher. So, you can see we're going to be doing a lot of math, and actually about 90% of our Intel Math project is going to focus on math. In addition, the remaining 10% of the Intel Math curriculum focuses on best practices for the teaching and learning of mathematics. We'll examine student work to focus on students' mathematical thinking, and discuss ways to deal with common misconceptions students have about the mathematical topics that you teach. As we mentioned, the course meets for a total of 4,800 minutes. Excuse me, that's 80 hours. The program will consist of consecutive Summer Institute training days, followed by professional learning sessions during the school year. Please consult your county's SEAM informational flyer for the training session dates and times for your county's cohort. To support learning a two-volume Intel Math Teacher's Manual, a reference manual and an answer manual will be provided to each participant to assist them in implementing the program. Don't worry, by the end of the first week we will be BFFs. And remember, although the commitment is great, the rewards will be greater. We sure hope you'll be able to join us this year for this fantastic professional development experience. We'll do a lot of math, have a lot of fun, and become better teachers together. Don't miss out on this opportunity to work with your teaching colleagues across the county. Registration for the three county cohorts will be conducted through your building administrator. Administrators will send their teacher registrations to the ISD SEAM coordinator as listed on the informational flyer. For questions or more information, please contact Pam Bunch at the Hillsdale Lenaway Monroe Math and Science Center.